Welcome back, Coyotes. I cannot believe your awesome color wheel creations that you made last week. Awesome job. There were so many different kinds of creatures. I saw a unicorn. I saw a snail. I saw a bear. I saw a turtle like mine. Um, this week, we're going to use the color wheel again, but we're going to use some special color combinations. And in the video, you may remember from Joe last week there and this week um, with our unicorn video and Miss Bays loves unicorns, by the way. Um, there are some colors called warm colors and some colors called cool colors. So I have my color wheel here and I wanna show you and you need to remember these for our lesson today. Warm colors, like we saw in the videos, are red, orange, and yellow. And warm colors are like things that have a warm temperature, the sun, um, the fire, or I don't know, uh, lava maybe. Um, and so those colors kind of remind us of things that are warm. I have them here. These are our three warm colors. red, yellow, and orange. Now we gotta remember those because that's gonna be important. So, cool colors are the other half of the color wheel. So if we kind of put it in half, we have warm colors here, and we have cool colors here. So the top half, the bottom half. Cool colors are purple, blue, and green. And those things are kind of like leaves, the sky, maybe um, the, the nighttime sky, the way the, um, I'm thinking of maybe like clouds or the moon at night, it's kind of cool colors, it's kind of relaxing. So we're gonna take warm colors and cool colors and we're gonna use them in our artwork today. So remember, warm colors, red, orange, yellow, cool colors, green, blue, purple. So today, what you're gonna need to use for your assignment is crayons, only crayons, that's all we need. And maybe a pencil, also a pencil, sorry. And we're gonna start with a paper and our crayons. So we have a piece of paper and you're gonna draw with me. We're gonna take our pencil, and we're gonna draw kind of like we did for our color wheel. We're gonna draw a circle. We're gonna draw a big circle. This week's assignment is the sun and moon warm and cool colors. So what we're gonna make is a sun and a moon, but with just a one tricky line. Just watch with me. I'm gonna start from the top of my paper and I'm gonna go all the way down. I'm gonna start at the top. So I drew my circle. I'm starting at the top. I'm gonna go all the way down to the middle of my sun and moon, and I'm gonna curve it around like a little nose. And then I'm just gonna keep going all the way down to the bottom. And so now I have half of a sun and half of a moon. We need eyes on the sun and moon. So I'm gonna draw one eye for the moon, one eye for the sun. We need a smile because they're happy. So now I can add, you know, some details on my eye. So if you see, we have like a little moon and we have a sun. And what does the sun shine? It has sun rays. So in the background of your sun, you're going to need to make the sun rays. So we're going to make diagonal lines. almost all the way around our sun, just like that. Then there's something called a wavy line. We're gonna make a wavy line in the nighttime sky. Here's our wavy line. We'll just make a few in the back. Behind our moon. Okay, so now we gotta color it in. So if the sun, color is usually the sun, the sun is usually orange or yellow, 
most likely yellow. You can color in only on this side, warm colors. So you're gonna need, what are warm colors? Red, oops, red, orange, and yellow. And you're gonna wanna color in your sun with only the warm colors on that side because the sun is warm and it's the sun in the sky. And on the other side, you're gonna wanna color the moon. And the moon in the nighttime sky is like cool colors. So we can use blue, green, and purple. And I have my example already colored in so you don't have to sit and watch me color. But just remember, on one side where the sun is, they need to be warm, only warm colors. And the other side where the moon is, we're using cool colors. And here is my example. I colored in my sun orange and yellow, and that's okay, you can do that. And I colored in my sun rays, all the warm colors. And then on the moon side, I used all my cool colors. So you can color it in, but be sure you color the whole thing in. And I want you to take your time. Let me show you a little ways of coloring and some tricks on how to color. When I start coloring something, I wanna take my time, I wanna go slow, and I wanna stay coloring in one direction. So I have my red, I'm gonna color my red sun ray right here. And what I'm gonna do when I start coloring, I'm gonna stay in one direction. My crayon is only gonna go side to side because sometimes we like to just kind of color in like this but that looks kind of messy. And so we're learning how to be an artist and we want our art to look nice and neat. So we're gonna try coloring in to make it look nice and neat, you stay in one direction. So we're gonna color, see how I'm just gonna go side to side, side to side. And I'm taking my time. It's gonna take a long time to color this in and that's okay because we're having art and we need to make sure it's nice and neat and complete. We don't want to finish in like five minutes. We want to take our time. So then I'm going to go next with my next warm color, orange. And you know what happened? My orange broke, but that's okay because now I have two orange crayons. I'm going to use this little piece. And that's okay. Sometimes our crayons break. And I'm going to go, remember, just in one direction, side to side or up and down. And I'm coloring my sun ray. And then the next warm color is yellow. And I'm just going side to side. Remember, we don't want to scribble all around, so it'll look nice and neat. And we want to fill up the whole page with our color so it's completely colored in. So you can color in your sun side however you want, as long as it's completely filled in with, with warm colors. And you can color your moon side however you want, as long as you're only using warm colors. So again, here is my finished piece. And I've used all the cool colors on this side and all the warm colors on this side. I can't wait to see your sun and moon warm and cool color project. Uh, be sure you turned it into Schoology, you know, hold it up. I love when you guys take me, um, have videos for me and you show me and talk about them too. But pictures are just as good. So hold it up to the camera. Miss Bays, this is my picture. And tell me the warm and cool colors. Warm colors, red, orange, and yellow. And cool colors, green, blue, and purple. Okay, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.